What's up, folks? Welcome once again to Gossips 24. You know how you do it, your number one 24 celebrity channel right here on YouTube. If you are new to the channel, beg hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell notification icon. I normally get confused, like the subscribe button is here. Fine, so hit that subscribe button and click on the bell notification icon. Like the video, drop a comment, like anything at all you want to do on the video, just do it and share for others to see this video. So just as the title states, this video is about Kwame Eugene. Now you know, like anytime I talk about Kwame Eugene, you guys, like some some guys, okay, not all of you. Some guys come here, then they say all of the whole of things, like um, you are the one Kwame Eugene sang B44 and all that. No, okay, you guys get wrong. Like, I don't hate Kwame Eugene, no one hates Kwame Eugene, but it's like that with every artist. If you do the wrong thing, we are going to say it. If you do the right thing, we are going to say it, okay? I've reviewed songs. I've reacted to songs and all that. If uh, I've talked about musicians, Shatawale, Sarkodies, Tomboy, like everybody, we, we do that to them. So it's normal. All right, let's go to today's um, item. So yesterday, Kwame Eugene, I don't know what came over him, stomped Facebook in a Facebook live session and I think he's trying to pick that Shatawale um, the early stages of the Shatawale that was when Shatawale came back from hibernation 2010 to 2014 the Shatawale we, we saw within those years and Charlie I don't know what came about Kwame Eugene just yesterday I think he has he has harbored a lot of things within him but Obviously, whatever he said yesterday was crap. It was full of nonsense. Now, let's go to it. The first thing I have a problem with. I know you've seen videos from various YouTubers about this video and all that yesterday. But I had to prepare for this one. Pick them item by item. And then we dissect it. Digest it. Um, whatever. Like, cut it into pieces and all that. So, the first thing I have a problem with is... You are here to do your video. Talk about whatever bothers you. Okay, what's the Jimmy Jimmy for? Now, throughout the video, he was calling his viewers Jimmy, Jimmy, and all that. And I don't know who the Jimmy is to. These are the same people you are trying to convince to stream your song. These are the same people you are trying to convince to watch your video, share your content, and all that. So why the hell do you go about insulting them? Even Chatawali has stopped that. Okay, fine. Now, in the course of the video, he talked about musicians suffering. Let's watch um, what he said about musicians and their suffering. Corona time we work no day. If you if you if you want to work with what guys when they suffer bam, for this corona time, if you musician, because when you are zooming new, now who go out there zoom bank no then say oh ba oh bank now oh bed now oh wow coach chase can then say wear face shirt before you go enter the bank you think say then go agree make you pack over twenty thousand people then perform to them you know what happened pack twenty thousand people then perform to them you know easy that means say name it any musician in the country right now they suffer everybody they suffer you don't understand and ask yourself how many people in this country understand virtual content understand say Okay, this Kwame Eugene Sound of Africa album, you can't do one virtual. So, before, before buy tickets online, then go stream. Charlie? I tell no cry. Be serious. So, if you're not saying this be the time where musicians suffer for this country. Plenty musicians suffer for this country. Uh, yeah, but... Unia. Musicians they suffer for this country. So me maybe people yeah, people go add them post like then they then they post cars and then this thing and this but and the truth we say unless you they do some other job or what mugu what I say if you don't catch mugu why not they do some underground job this time musicians they suffer bossy it be hard but musicians they suffer right now okay so now you are saying musicians are suffering say you are suffering okay say you are suffering because just yesterday i saw medical going out there he's in new york 
bro manifest um was in a commercial with jocelyn dumas um Shatawale, bad news he's launching the infinix phone today gh united concept and all that it depends on your brand positioning so say you are suffering if you are not doing matured songs for people to consume okay like this whole um how do you call it this whole uh organizations and all that they are looking for mature people to deal with so until you're able to tell them yo this is me i'm the guy i'm mature i've i've i'm the artist of the year come you i don't think he he understands the power he yields. okay like for me that suffering thing and then he was like um, unless you catch mugu like what the hell who does that which international brand does that and that's a big disappointment there and again you are shooting a video a live video okay and then you are an item ambassador and then you throw the item like really on a table they later pick the item to show to people meanwhile you are recording the video with an iphone <laughs> bro you are recording the video with an iphone you are doing a live video with an iphone and then you are marketing an itel to us who do you want to patronize itel that's an off for me like that's off like i don't know i'm not sure richie was aware of that video that kwami uji was going to come live at that moment but if he was definitely aware he would have put him in checks now moving on to the second item that i saw in the video okay um he talked about uh miss v uh, Miss V and that uh, he writes songs for Miss V and then when he was rising up, let's watch what he said about that. Yeah, you know they they a bay yeah you then they see for TV top you then small small boom bang bang then Huey Baba then I go I go write song and I say oh Charlie Miss V take it feature me then I go write song Charlie boss take it feature me help me make a blow song small 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 she like four years this with a hassle but still unko studio that you don't do anything before so they threw out the live video i had to sit down watch the video after he had recorded it and then ask myself what really came over this boy like still writing on the miss v thing like yo then what make a power to talk what should um bisake they say what should i also say okay akwabwa um we all know akwabwa is like master class and all that what should he say so i think that point also by kwami uj was needless uh, it, it wasn't making he wasn't making any sense i don't know why he even chipped in that to win public sympathy like sia sia writes a lot of songs for rihanna and all that but charlie nobody they make noise about actually forget forget kwami uj away from that eugene talked about um the son of africa album now the Sound of Africa album, uh, I think he expected people to go for the album. The publication and everything and all that, fine. Like, I don't know the number of uh, bloggers Eugene dealt with, okay? But you need people who can make the noise for you. You need, you are not investing in the album. Don't expect the public to invest in your album for you. You as a musician have to invest in the album. I remember Mr. Easy saying that um, he invested in his album on Apple Music, okay, and then the returns that came, okay, he invested that album, uh, he invested in the same album on another platform. So it's like that. Music game is about investment. Now, what Ghanaian musicians or Kwam Eugen is, is is saying that the album. Um, they didn't, they didn't reach um, people. Let, let's listen to whatever the crap community said for Ivan dissect what he said. Let's listen to him. Thank God, say there's some they do well online. But, Obinya Yanka, you know, I mean, why we get that mentality? Be what I know they get to. Obinya Yanka, album, no. I released the album. Four days later after I released the album, somebody can tweet say, Kwame Eugene, where your album they make beans. Four days. Abu Anna, four days, no. I mean, uh, Obama treaty. Should we be a menoche? Four days. What did they expect? You know, you, 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 you get what I mean? The only way this thing can go far, it is when you and I start to support each other. What did I say? Me, yeah, no, we post it. Oh, yeah, no, we post it. No. So, talking about his album, which okay, you do an album, 
um, put it out there. The Son of Africa album is out. It's blah blah blah. Stream like no, that's not how we do it. How many interviews have you embarked on? Um, like government has opened, like media houses are operating. Everyone is operating all that. How many interviews have you embarked on? How many challenges have you embarked on? We saw Kidi when he released the Blue EP, a single song from the Blue EP, Say Cheese and all that. He made sure he did a challenge for it, and the Blue EP blew. Okay. And the Blue EP was accepted by everyone just because of that one song, Say Cheese. So, this is a marketing strategy. Kwame Eugene, like, I don't know whoever advises you, but it's all about marketing. Invest in the album. Don't expect people to share the album for you. Because in the first place, everyone has a fan base. And you are saying fan bases are not relevant. And fan bases are not our problems, okay? You are the problem. You are not investing in it, you don't have any squad behind you. You're like you should have some squad behind you. People who are going to talk about the album all the time, retweet, do this, like do challenges for this particular song of the album, make noise, eat grant interviews, visit places, all about the album. Invest in it, and you're going to get the returns, bro. You are not out to beats. <laughs> you are not out to beats, or you're not a sucker. The fact that you want artist of the year doesn't mean people should automatically accept everything that you do. Like, so that talk on the album again was crap for me. If you can't invest, don't complain. It's all about investment. Don't think people should just stream the album because you did an album and you are Kwame Eugene, so we should ex accept it. No, it's not going to work that way. Invest in it. Invest in PRs, invest in blogs, invest in vlogs, invest on YouTube. If you have a video from the album, promote it on YouTube, promote it on Twitter, promote it on, like, yo, promote it everywhere. Every <laughs> challenge, so that thing about the album again was lame, was trash talk for me. Like, it didn't make sense. And then again, he moved on to talk about support. Okay, he talked about um, people not supporting his craft and all that. Let's watch what he said about that also. You go do the song, you go do the video, you go do the album. Because he, he managed to get maybe. Two point and here and he followers. We one point and here and he followers. That one point and here and he followers. No, so be post you know. So say you two, you followers go see say oh, maybe a kwami a releasing you for for. Oh oh, maybe a sister fia releasing you for for. Family releasing you for for. Kosi a tell releasing you for for. Mami, so say you followers go see. No, you don't go post. Now the end is all a good cry. No go post you know. Not the actual story. Now they defeat the body. And you know, no bet, no bet, tag you. So they follow go see. You go put for in story. In story, you. So say, oh, if by chance somebody find a way glance through in in, in story, then you go go see him. You go post your story now, then you go tag you the artist. Say, oh, I post to, I post for my story. Hey, mostly. you post for your story. So that be what they go around. It they around every almost everybody get that thing. So you post for historia. Also, the Emma, I mean, you don't post my own for your own page. Then you, do, you go post your own for story. So Ghana artists, everybody, they post in frame for story. That be how the thing go there. And now, if you make lucky stuff where you post you for a page, you don't go tag you. You go, you go, you go write your name. You don't go write at send here. Somebody click. I go give them easy access to your place. No, we hate to share. Nobody wants share. You understand? Oh, peace there. We are very peaceful because nobody enemy the millem or no soon calling the lame. You see that mentality of said here. I suffer where I catch there. Everybody for suffer some. Is there everybody in head inside? So if small girl actress they come up, instead of them to get some big woman be say, Oh, I will support you with my page so far as you are doing something that is good. There be you know go help the girl. The girl go look for help. I don't go help the girl. So the, the only option he left the girl to do is to either sleep around or go live like this. Then come out in body. And uh, then I should be a So if you come out in body right now, everybody will come watch. Then you will start getting name. You will start getting name. So before the girl go get name to the level where she wants to be, then you spoil the name finish. The name yeah, you get to, but you spoil the name again. Now brands are running away from you. You know how hard it be to rise 
sequentially small, 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 and get to this position. You know, it's easy for this place oh, because your own people, oh, 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 you, talk, oh, no. you see, always at the top say, if you believe in the talent, eh, you know, it will be difficult to help the person. You know, where than a day before which man and see me. Oh, on the support thing, I think Kwame Eugene got this whole thing wrong. No one owes you support. I, I, I watched a video from Koji Sheldon. I watched another video from um, Zion Felix um, where Eddie K was ranting and all that. I think that one is publicity from Eddie K and all that. Though he was spewing facts, but he could have said it long ago. But well, assembly be assembly. Um, assembly so far be assembly. So that's also accepted. Now, I, I, I think Kwame Eugene should also understand this, okay? Be, just because we are Ghanaians doesn't mean we are going to accept everything you did. When Shatawale was coming, he was very loud on Facebook because Shatawale channeled all his resources on Facebook, like invested. When I say invested, it's not as if... When I say invested... It's not as he said a while he put about 100 million in youtube um in facebook but uh, he uploaded his songs on facebook songs for free 100 songs for free on facebook no itunes no spotify no audio mark nothing it was just block facebook soundcloud facebook soundcloud facebook and all that go on facebook live the amount of bundle Go on Facebook Live, the amount of bundle he wastes or he spends there was his investment. Okay, now Kwame Eugene is talking about support, but he doesn't support anyone. I saw this argument yesterday, and yeah, it's true, he doesn't support anyone. I haven't seen a retweet from Kwame Eugene coming from another man's project. If it's not Kiddy, I haven't seen it. Even Miss V, who was formerly on Kwame Eugene's label, I never saw a retweet from Kwame Eugene. It was just about in the past seven days that Kwame Eugene shared, and even when he was sharing, he shared it in the form of a slider. Okay, he shared the pictures together on Instagram, and then you have to swipe to see who Kwame Eugene was talking about. Yes, right, um, Ghana again, blah blah blah. That is not support. That is not support. If 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 you want us to support you, you have to show the people that you you deserve their support. That's it. Shatawale showed his people on Facebook that he deserves their support. He was very outspoken, tackling issues, entertaining them on Facebook. And that's how Shatawale has a big fan base. Sakwadi showed his people that he deserves their support. Always giving shout outs to Sak Nation and all that, like Ghanaians and all that, talking about all. That's it. Stoneboy had to show his people that he deserves their support. Beam Nation, talking about this, doing this for Beam Nation, and doing this package, doing that, doing that. And that's the trick here in Ghana. Bro, forget about it. Forget about the support. No one owes you support on this digital uh, platform or <laughs> in this digital world. No one owes you support. So if 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 you put if you want people to share your project, share this. Okay? You don't just come and share in one week and then expect people to do that for you, and then you think you have the mandate to come and blast everyone. Like you. This thing happened to Shatawale, happened to Stoneboy. I remember very well when Stoneboy was coming up. I, um, I, I, I virtually grew up in the same neighborhood with Stoneboy. He was in Ashama Zone 2. I was in Zone 5. So when I'm going to my church, I was Zone 2. So when I'm going to church, and then this colleague of mine at church will say, Hey, there's this dope guy here. He's called Stoneboy, blah, blah. So it was once I that I saw Stoneboy and CD um, in a, boarding a taxi from police um, junction and all that. And then he was like, that's Stoneboy. I was like, this Stoneboy. Okay, then I went and listened to his song. That was how come I listened to Stoneboy. I didn't accept it the first day. So listen, no one is going to accept you unless you prove yourself worthy. Okay? So it's needless. It, it, that whole support thing is, is needless. No one owes you support. Prove it that you deserve our support. And we are going to give you the maximum support you need. Okay? But don't just come and sit live after sharing works within seven days and expect people to support you. That's lame. It's childish. Like, Kwame Eugene is not living up to this artist of the year thing. You know, um, I think Kwame Eugene also said something about 
Ghanaians loving Nigeria, not loving his song, and then they will go and listen to a particular song. Let's listen to how come Eugene um, put it. For Tendo, you 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 insult me, finish. I know that you. See it too. That one cry. They listen. You say you say that one. That one. I know they talk soon. But see, the fault no from both sides. Oh, the fault is there your head inside. It will trim because you psych your mind. Say anything Ghanaian, you know, be legit. See, if if Ghana artists have build house, you go find a way to tarnish the whole thing. Auto car and your papa, auto chain and your papa. Because if you be Ghana artist, if you wear proper chain, you know, be papa. But see, say some other country artists they wear. If they be you, you then you go switch on the picture. Hey. So until we go psych on our mind, say, say Ghana needs a China. As I say, you catch your own self. And your papa. And yes, say your papa until you. And your papa mommy because or your Ghana need. You know, that is, that so I think Kwame Uji was making fun of Rima. <laughs> now, this is the same Rima. Okay, this is the same Rima that you saw his hairstyle and copied. When I said that, yeah, a lot of people were bashing us on our youtube channel but hey that's the truth he copied rumors style copied fireboy song copied ice Prince, and all that so if you are copying someone's lifestyle and you want to be like the person how then do you want people to love you over the person you want to be like it's common sense just be yourself be yourself practice what you preach do what you can okay show be show people love okay this whole thing is showbiz. This support, uh, bashing, um, trash talking, and all that, it is everywhere. Listen, even Jay Z, people trash talk Jay Z songs. Even Nas, people trash talk Nas songs. Even Bob Marley, people talk ill of Bob Marley. Even Michael Jackson, people talk ill of Michael Jackson. Uh, even Benna Boy, people talk ill of Benna Boy. David Whiskey, people talk ill of everybody. Sakwadi, people talk ill of Sakwadi. Shatawali, people talk ill of Shatawali. Stoneboy, there are people who don't like Stoneboy songs. So don't expect anyone to like you, even you, that you are trying to be like someone, copying your hairstyle and all that. No, it doesn't work that way. So accept it. It's showbiz. We understand you that you are doing showbiz, okay? But when you come into the line of insulting people, um, bombarding them for things you are wrong at, it doesn't make sense. So I think that's it on Kwame Eugene's video, live video. It's over an hour or something. And I don't think I can talk about all the things he said um, in that. I'll drop the link to his live video um, on the page below so that you can go and check it out for yourself. He even insulted some of his viewers and all that cursing them. But I think that was needless and very childish on the side of Kwame Eugene. Um, it's unfortunate that it's happened this way. But hey, he's our artist of the year. And we have to support everything that we can support, not by force, but willingly out of our own hearts. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop your comments and your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video, share, follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter at Gossip24. Thanks for watching this. We're out.